Michelle Pfeiffer. This is Coolio. And welcome to Iron Horse Garage. Come along with us on a fantastic voyage. This is a 68 Buick LeSabre convertible. We're going to be installing airbags in this baby. Air ride suspension from airslamit.com. We have our uh, bracket already built. See, all your solenoids are back here. You got your pumps. And you got your air tank here. And uh, this bracket was custom built by us. And uh, we got a set of gauges. We need to run those gauges uh, under the dash and lines back to the system. Here's the airbags, front and rear. And uh, here's a uh, controller that goes along with this kit. And then we'll have to sort out uh, all of our fittings and hoses and wires and everything else. Here we go. Step one, remove the wheels. That right there is the ever sought after fin brake drum. That nearly touches the upper control arm. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of that baby. As far as I'm concerned, complete garbage. Those babies are extremely sought after. This is the front suspension, not the rear end. Yeah, Jason is removing the cutter pin from the ball joint. We will be disconnecting the upper ball joint to drop the spindle down. And then praying to God it doesn't hurt somebody. The size of socket that I used was a medium large uh, socket and uh it comes in black. Also known as an 11 16th socket. That thing looks like it's moving or all. No. You have to disconnect the strut rod, sway bar, and the shocks, I believe. Okay, good job. Grab some wrenches and let's do this. We got our ball joint popped off of there. Disconnected the strut rod and disconnected the sway bar. We have the jack under that sucker for some insurance. Then she released. Be careful. Now we gotta disconnect the shock. To get the rear springs out. All I did was jack up the car, let the rear end down, and uh, pretty much beat them out of there. Not really too hard. On this side, some idiot tried to heat up his uh, 
spring and make a low rider and uh, you can see how that turned out there's a proper way to do heated coils but you don't just do them in uh, one spot like that these are the rear cups they're slanted at an angle this is an air slam it kit or most of one that uh, was purchased online. A gosh dang it kit? Yeah. So these ones are slanted. The front ones are straight. And the front one goes right up here. This is where your, uh, your little buckets go in place of the coil spring way up in there. In the front spring pocket. These babies uh, straight through where your shock mount is. Um, they have a piece of altar head that goes down into the bucket and you snug it up, bolt her down. About to mark that and put those a little shorter. And then we'll be welding these plates for the airbag on the bottom control arm. And figuring out position on the bags there. Uh, it's got three different positions to put the bottom of your bag to it so you can adjust kind of the angle of it. And then we will need to be drilling some holes in the buckets up here for the airline going in someplace. So. Well, you're going to have to drill a hole in not only the bucket, but the uh, the frame here somewhere too. Put some grommets in there. Yep. So we'll get that sorted up. So what you got to do when installing these is uh, stick this up through your factory hole and then kind of adjust it. As you can see, it's a little offset there. So you're going to have to adjust it and uh, ratchet her down so that it sucks it up into the pocket into place. Those are for the front. You'll, the you'll front see when you're doing front. it, when you when you look up in there when you're doing it, you'll see it adjust to the closest and then you ratchet it up and it kind of sucks it up into place. Also, um, and we'll take some measurements, but we may end up actually having to cut these cups down a little bit depending on uh, ride height. So, I guess we'll see. So, unfortunately, we uh, lost two days worth of recording working on this Buick, so Jason's gonna go and try to explain everything we did. Well, all we did was we removed the shocks and struts. We uh, drilled a guy hole from the bottom up through the body. And then we took an inch and a half hole saw and cut an access hole from the top of the trunk here so that we can get our nuts and bolts and everything in there. And then we'll, uh, after we're all said and done, we'll install a uh, body plug to cover those up and give you good access to uh, have maintenance on those later. So we have the airbags totally compressed. We got a jack and jacked it up as high as it would go just to kind of gauge where the tires will be in the wells. Everything seems to be running smooth. There won't be any rubbing. Uh, after it's all said and done, we get the car on the ground, uh, we'll take some measurements. We may have to pull it all apart and cut the cups down a little bit to uh, get the car even lower. But uh, we'll determine that after we set the car on the ground and, and see where everything fits. So. so we had to move a few things. The transmission lines were in the way, so we got those zip tied back. We'll have to uh, re-bend them just a little bit to keep them out of the way of the bags. We don't want them getting pinched. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're cutting back these strut pockets so that we can have clearance for our bag and our bag's not rubbing on, on any frame. Then we'll install our bags, get everything lined up and mounted up and bolted back up. And then we'll be able to weld our bottom plate to the lower control arm. Fun stuff.
Yes, sir. Well, that's it for this episode of uh, the 68 Buick Grand Slam. This actually sounds delicious. We should probably go to Denny's now and get a omelet. Uh, but we will be back in our next Buick video with uh, the front end bolted up and uh, get this thing on the ground and see where it sits, see what we need to do next.